Ahoy mateys, it's the Cursed Captain and it is time. Time for an updated PvP tips and tricks for our beloved Sea of Thieves. In this video I'm planning to cover new strategies and tips, so if you have not yet seen my other tips video make sure to check it out as it still has some relevant information for you as a pirate. So what are these new strategies I speak of? Well, pull up your ship, come aboard, and let's have our pirate conversation. It is very important to know the meta in any game that you play. In the seas, it is no different. Recently, we have seen some major changes to my beloved Cutlass, which has pushed the meta a little bit more in the direction of double gunners. In a recent patch, they've added a punishment to the lunge that if you miss your opponent, you are now stalled, unable to move, or put up your sword to block, which puts you at a huge risk of getting shot, or worse, blundered to the face. Speaking of the blunder, the blunder currently is extremely overpowered and if you're able to get a shot off point blank with an enemy, you have a high chance of one shotting them, sending them straight to the ferry. Someone once said you either die a cutlass user or you live long enough to become a double gunner. With that being said, I've seen myself become the very thing I swore I would defeat. Double gunning has definitely become the meta for this game, and if you practice on your aim, you can become a devastating force on the seas to be reckoned with. The most popular form of double gunning is using the Eye of Reach combined with the Blundy. This makes you a deadly force up close and far away. The other popular combo is the Eye of Reach and the Flintlock. This combo of firearms makes you dangerous at mid to far range. Both of these combos have their place, and from time to time I find myself switching mid-fight to a adapt to the situation at hand. Now I know what you're thinking. I love the Cutlass though. I will never become a double gunner. And you know what? That's fine, mate. That's fine. I know plenty of pirates out there that are still very deadly with the blade. Just know that right now the meta favors the double gunners, which is why this tip is about knowing the meta. So you can either understand how to defend yourself against it, or if you want to embrace it, embrace it. Embrace the dark side of the force. Embrace it! How can I talk about PvP in the series without talking about ship combat? Ship combat is constantly getting improved in some amazing ways with the best recent example of the addition of fire. I have a great video covering everything that fire does, so if you want you can go check that video out here. Now talking about ship combat, something I want to mention, and yes this is my opinion, but the crew or solo slooper that is better when it comes to the area of ship combat will win the fight in the end. Far too many times I have seen experienced crews forgetting to assign roles, giving jobs, communicating, stocking up their ships resulting in them basically getting blown out of the water and just sinking. I have been guilty of this myself. With the addition of storage crates, rowboats, fruit, wood, and cannonball crates all having items in them when you find them, there really is no excuse to not have a stocked up ship these days. In fact, a well placed cursed cannonball can make all the difference. So with all that being said my advice is to practice practice your ship combat it won't matter if you come up against a crew of double gunners if you can outthink them navigate them and sail them they won't stand a chance to expand on this i have a very in-depth video for ship combat that you can watch here i talk and show some strategies that will help you and your crew be successful on the seas but Hitbo, how do I practice? It's not like there's a cannonball range out there I can go to. Well, mates, I'm glad you asked. You remember that ship cloud floating in the sky that you ignore? Well, don't worry. I like to ignore them too. But there really is no better way to practice everything I'm sharing with you outside of doing the fleets. It teaches you how to aim the cannons, the effects of cursed cannonballs, boarding, and pretty much everything in between. So next time you see that fleet cloud in the sky, as a good friend of mine, a pirate that goes by the name of Captain Shia LaBeouf, just do it. Do it! Just do it! I know what you're thinking, Captain, you've already covered this in an old video. I know, I know. 
But here's the thing. I think this may be one of the most important tips that I can possibly share with you, which is why I'm bringing it up again. The best pirate is the one who can outthink his foe and situational awareness can make all the difference. You wanna be asking yourselves the important questions like, for example, how many pirates have been sent to the ferryman? How many people are on this crew? Is there any gunpowders up in the crow's nest or anyone else on the ship? How much ammo do you have? If you're using double gunning, this one is extremely important. You always want to start your fights with full ammo. What kind of food do you have on you? Since the anniversary update, we have seen major updates to the food through new fruits being added and meat being added to the game. If you're looking for a quick guide on the food, I have some charts in the description and on my website that you can reference. I also have a chart guide video that you can check out as well. Where is my health at? This is a great question to ask yourself, especially with the introduction of the health regen bar. If this bar is filled up, it could make all the difference. And these are just a few of the questions that I ask myself when in combat. If you keep these things in mind during combat, you will start to see a difference. And the best thing is for you to make these second nature and just like anything, practice makes perfect. So the only way to get better at situational awareness is to engage in PvP combat. So if you run from every fight, you will never get any better. You can actually refill your ammo for any weapon at an armory. All you have to do is select a different skin. So if you ever find yourself at an outpost trying to defend yourself and you run out of ammo, well, use this tip. Use firebombs to distract and annoy the enemy. At the end of the day, firebombs don't deal a massive amount of damage, but they can cause some major distraction and annoyances for the enemy. A well-placed firebomb can just be enough chaos to give you the edge, so always make sure you have as many firebombs as possible at any given moment. Speaking of fire, keep a small layer of water on the bottom of your ship. This will prevent fire from catching below deck, giving you a safe place during a fight to catch your breath. Practice boarding by lunging off the front of your ship and trying to catch your ladder. This gets you familiar with how to board other ships and it's a bit of fun to do when you're kind of bored on the seas. Practice shooting on the bell of your ship. This was a tip I shared in my last video and to this day I still warm up by shooting the bell. This is especially helpful if you're running a double gun combo. Find yourself a portable ammo crate. Seriously, these crates are extremely underrated and incredibly helpful. If you stumble upon one of these on an island, be sure to place it on the deck of your ship. This will give you quick access to reload your weapon and could make the difference between life and death. Always lunge by blocking first. This gives you added movement speed when lunging and if you time it right, you can even do a jumping sword lunge. Speaking of lunges, if you're on a ship, you can cancel a lunge by grabbing onto a helm, cannon, or anchor. This can help save you in any pinch, especially if you know you're going to miss your enemy and don't want to get caught with your pants down. Figuratively speaking, of course. You can lunge back to back to back to back. Even though there's been an added nerf to the lunge, if you miss your lunge, if you manage to hit your target, you can still do this technique. You can do this by quickly blocking after you hit your target, jumping backwards, and lunging again. This is also a great way to clear out skellies. Been assigned watching the ladders on your ship? Well, you should be using the blunder. Seriously, it's the only firearm that has knockback, so if you happen to find a pirate sneaking on your ship, make sure to give them a proper hello. Do you love the cutlass and no matter what you plan on using it? Well, learn how to quickly move using the block jump in any direction. Combine this with a regular jump after your quick jump and you, my pirate friend, are bunny hopping. This is a very useful technique to help you dodge bullets and get close enough to do some damage. With so many updates and changes to the game since launch, some good and some bad, the only way to truly master PvP and become a ruthless pirate on the seas is to practice and learn from your mistakes. Find yourself a good crew and surround yourself with some pirates that are willing to show you the ropes. If you're looking for a good community full of PvP and PvE pirates, I have an amazing one over 
over on Discord. If you're not sure what Discord is, it is a free online tool designed to bring gamers together. I promise, if you're sailing alone or doing open crew, way well, lord forbid, do yourself a favor and join up on my community by clicking the link in the description. Don't sail alone if you don't have to. We even have monthly events where we post signups and match crews together. So what tips do you have for PvP in the seas? Make sure to share your pirate wisdom in the comments below. I always love reading your comments and feedback and do my best to respond to as many people as possible. And if you like this video and found it helpful, consider subscribing to my channel. I know it seems like a small thing, but every subscriber helps me get one step closer to defeating the evil YouTube algorithm. And as a good friend of mine, Captain Falcor says, what the hell, while you're at it, why not hit the bell to never miss a new video. And last but definitely not least, remember mates, always, always shoot first and ask questions later. Cheers!